All right, so let's go. I've done my tests here with the colors and it seems like black, orange and red do actually work here. Quick check. Better without or with the lights? Yeah. Let's try with the lights out right now. Subtle reference there to Royal Blood. Okay, what we're going to um, talk about now is mostly for our junior guys and understanding the design process. So when you're going through a project and you've probably seen in the start of your folio documents that little circle hard chem wheel thing with arrows on it to try and get you to understand what the process is when making a project. Now I've just grabbed, I'm in the design garage right now and you'll see up there the data protector has been installed. We've turned this old change room into a pretty cool classroom. Uh, I've just grabbed two sample projects. I've grabbed Zach Becker's old um, or an off cut from his laser cut project where he made two of these tree outlines, uh, hooked them together and was to hang jewellery on or something like that. And I can't remember whose candles these were, but these were for an Illuminate project, mm, making nice scented candles to you know, illuminate and brighten up the mood. But anyway, with these projects, there's always a process to follow from start to finish to get a quality project at the end. Now, depending on what year you're in, it might be slightly different. I'll start by outlining three basic stages of the project. Okay, so number one is the proposal stage where you're outlining what you're going to do, okay? It's your planning. The next part is your development, where things actually happen. Develop. And yes, I fit it in there, all right? So that's when you're doing stuff, when you are researching and when you are making your project. And this one, even though we put it at the end, and we can hit the drill going on out there, your evaluation. When you look at your finished project and you go, yep, this is exactly how I want it to be awesome, or it's where you might make some changes. Now, that's in three steps, okay? Proposal, plan what you're going to do. Development is where you're making it happen. Your evaluation is what you do to see how good it is, okay? But we give you guys the acronym of PARDCHEM. Now, I forgot which teacher or whatever I originally got this one off, but it's been my favourite acronym help you remember the process. So while we listen to the hammer drill in the background, while I think they're installing spotlights or something in the technology squad, I'm just going to draw it up. So it looks something like this. We've got a P, we've got an A, we've got an R, we've got a D, we've got a C, we've got an E, and we've got an M. All right? And this process we like to demonstrate like a, like a wheel, all right? a process that's not going and keeps going round and round. Okay, there we go. So the P and the A part, they kind of link together, okay? That's where you're given a design problem, all right, or a brief for a project. So it might be if you're um, doing the fantastic food unit of work, you might be given the brief to create a series of um, recipes and produce them, evaluate them, taste them, eat them, share them, and all that sort of stuff, right? But with any design problem you're given, there's always some analysis. Okay, so that's your P&A. So we're going to write these ones in. That's your problem. And that's your analysis. Okay, where you're starting to think about, all right, here's my situation, my problem, how do I solve it? Okay, your next step is your research. Now, you hear this word in every subject you do. And adding to my previous video, research is something that you can do by looking at on Google, but there are lots of other ways to research. You can experiment with things, you can test stuff, you can read books, you can ask experts, you can ask your teacher, you can ask your mum, you can ask your friend. There's lots of ways you can research. Once you've done a bit of research, it's time to do your designs, okay? Now, for most of you, that's drawing. Okay, but often we start to integrate some computer-aided design processes, okay, so designing things on computer. And this is where we kind of stipulate that you understand what size things are going to be, um, what material you're going to use, okay, what angles there might be, and then based on the research you've done back here, you'll know how to join certain things because of what techniques and tools you're going to use. This part down here, the C, is everyone's favourite step, all right? Now, I'll go through and darken these in a bit so you can actually see them, but the C stage is the construction or creation stage. Let's just write construct, but E to C word is fine. This is where you're making your project. This is where, for our cool subjects, you spend most of your time making. But if you haven't done the PARD part, 
there's no party. <laughs> no party. Um, but if you haven't done those steps first, it's hard to actually construct something if you've done no research, haven't really thought about the problem and haven't got any design. And that's when you tend to waste a bit of time, okay? Now this E1 here, it's a word you hear a lot, it's your evaluation. It's where you're thinking about stuff. When you're making decisions, you might change your mind on something. And evaluation actually happens all the time, okay? So when you're looking at the problem, you're evaluating potential ideas. When you're researching, based on what research you do, you evaluate. You go, well, let's see, my project, hmm, do I want to do this project and use the laser cutter because that's cool? Or do I like you know, mixing stuff and I want to do this project because candles will be way more fun because that's a technology I prefer to use. All right, you're always doing evaluation. We call that ongoing evaluation. Now, your last step, and I'll write this one here, is the M. Now, there's two for these. If your project is done, okay, and there's no, your evaluation comes up positive, it's ready to market, sell, give away, use, whatever term you want to use it for, but it's ready to market. If based on your evaluation there's some changes, well, then you would need to modify it. And if you were to make modifications, you'd just be going back through the process, going, all right, what's the problem? Analyze that problem, maybe do a bit of research, design a solution based on your evaluation back here, construct it or change it by making the problem solved, and then we're back in your eval, and are we ready to market or modify again? Okay, now that makes pretty good sense to me, but let's just darken the A there, darken the R, so we can see this better, it's E, M, and P, all right? So when we're going through the design process, PARD chem is a good way to remember it. Problem, analysis, research, design, construct, evaluation, and then it's ready to market or modify. Any questions, hit me up. Till next time, guys.